Okay, we're now going to look at creating a Google Forms for students selecting what books they have read based on a certain list. The example I'm using for this is a Reading Olympics competition where the students have to specify what books they have read off of the Reading Olympics list. I've already created this form. I already went to Google Docs, um, went to Create New and Form, so this form is already in my Google Docs library as a spreadsheet, just as we went over um, lastly with our book request form. So here it is, my Reading Olympics book spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you can see that it's been turned into a spreadsheet based on the form that I entered. No one's entered any information yet because this competition actually is for next year. But I want to edit the form, not the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to Form, and I'm going to Edit Form. So here's the form that I created. You can see that I gave it a name, Reading Olympics Books 2011. And if I go to each question, you'll see that I have the option to click on the pencil and edit the question. Here's where I ask for the students to put their uh, first name and the first initial of their last name. The reason I didn't want them to put their whole last name is because I am going to put the results of this form up on a Reading Olympics website so that students can see what books have been read. And I don't want their full names to be listed on the web page, web page for security reasons. So this was a simple text question that I submitted here. But let's move on to the next one. This one is a little more complicated. If I go to edit this question, you can see that the question type was to choose from a list. And I just want to tell you how this was set up. There are 45 books in our Reading Olympics list. So what I did is I entered each title of the books as a list option. And you'll see that each time you add something to the list, you have an option to keep the list going. So all 45 titles are in this list. I'm not going to make any changes um, in this case, but you can see that you easily can. I'm just going to say done. You can see that here the link is to uh, link this to your, put this link on your web page. But you can also see that you can go to more actions and you can actually embed the form onto your website. If you click on embed, you see you have the code. So we're going to just quickly go to our uh, Reading Olympics website that we have on our web page and you can see what it looks like. Here's the embedded form where students can just go to our Reading Olympics web page, put in their name, and then go to the drop down list to select what book they read and hit submit. Now, once students do start submitting the books that they've read next year for Reading Olympics, what I also will do is I'll go back to my spreadsheets and I want them to see the results of what people are putting in so that they know which books need to be read. So I will go up here. I'm sorry, up here to share. And I want to publish it as a web page because these are the actual results that I'm publishing. I want to start publishing all the sheets. Um, and I want to get a link to the publish data via web page. Here's the embedded code. So I could just put that embedded code right into my web page so they that they can see all the results as to what book each student has read.